Uh, for me, it's actually a, a pint. You guys call it a pint. We'd call it like a tub of uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I love the fish food. Uh, good way to get in a lot of calories. And, um, yeah, it's something I've been doing uh, for the last year or two. I definitely, the day before a, a race, I definitely leave my run to last. So I always have to do a 30-minute run just on dusk. And I find that it just settles me down because I'm rather hyper. I'm hyper at normal times, let alone before a race. So that's probably the biggest the, the thing that I stick with the most is that I'm, you'll always see me out doing an easy jog around the 6 o'clock, which is quite late, but um, it's just beautiful, especially here going out running when the sun's going down. So that's probably the only ritual I do. I'm actually with Luke. I go for a pint of non-dairy ice cream for my dinner the night before the race. Wow. <laughs> race superstitions. Do you have any superstitions when you're out on the course? I like the Mark Allen story when you're out there. If you're in the zone, you start seeing Indian gods in the lava fields talking to you. That's how you know you're having a good race, I guess. When you meet those tough points in the race, remember that that's why you came. And embrace those times, work through them, and know that for each one of those times that you faced and pushed through during the race, you're going to be that much more proud of yourself for getting to the finish line. So just don't forget that.